day if you can maybe get out a little oh, early or yeah sneak in some sunshine it's beautiful outside and it's feeling like fall outside too uh, the foliage, foliage report right now from explore fall showing peak color across parts of litchfield county and we're getting close through most of central connecticut into the quiet corner of the state along the shoreline there's still a lot of green mixed in right now those chilly nights are really going to help the colors pop here over the next week or so to our north some spots already past peak and unfortunately we uh, did see quite a few trees get stripped of their leaves this weekend with the wind and the rain but we've recovered nicely a live look in our eye cam right now in Winterlock showing quite a bit of color there in the distance still a little bit of green mixed in and a live look in our eye cam in Middletown similar conditions although take a look especially in some of the lower parts of uh the state lower elevations that is we still have quite a bit of green to contend with foliage certainly perhaps a little delayed compared to the last several years now for the rest of today if you want to sneak out maybe enjoy an extra lunch enjoy some sunshine temperatures right around 60 degrees at two o'clock falling into the 50s by four o'clock and with clear skies we watch temperatures fall quickly already in the 40s as early as about 10 o'clock tonight normally this time of year the Hartford area sees average high temperatures right around 60 degrees and that's where we are but by the time we reach the end of this week we will be well above average. But before that, we're giving you the first alert here to frost possible tomorrow morning. Uh, Lauren and Jill talked quite a bit about this over the weekend. Temperatures will be in the 30s. Patchy frost is expected inland. Cover up those outdoor plants or bring them inside if you can. We're expecting temperatures in the northwestern, northeastern parts of the state to be in the mid 30s. Central Connecticut through the Connecticut River Valley, 91 corridor, mostly mid to upper 30s and along the shoreline, upper 30s near 40 degrees. So this is more of an inland concern tonight. But we recover quickly tomorrow given the sunshine back into the mid 60s by the time we reach the middle of the afternoon. On first alert, future cast, high pressure in control for the next several days. Really, this is a, the big picture this week. Uh, for once, we're not forecasting rain for the weekend either, which is certainly a nice change of pace. In the tropics, we still have Tammy. Category 1 hurricane right now forecast to keep moving uh, out to sea, but then it could recurve back toward Bermuda, so we'll be watching that, but it does weaken significantly by that point in time. So today, upper 50s and low 60s. Seasonable outside, partly mostly sunny skies. Tonight, temperatures in the 30s with some patchy frost developing. And on the first alert seven day here, there's the first alert tag for tomorrow, a bit breezier on uh, Wednesday. Notice these temperatures, though, climbing up into the 70s in in fact, the long-term outlook here as we get even into the start of next week favors temperatures to be above average. We end the work week mid-70s inland, uh, low 70s along the shoreline. By Saturday, we're still expected to be upper 60s and low 70s, more than 10 degrees above where we typically would be. And Kara, we'll see a front come through late Saturday. Not much to show except a little cloud cover on Sunday, and we trend cooler, although still above where we typically would be this time of year. You mean it might not rain on the weekend? Uh, let's <laughs> lock this in, right? Enjoy the sun. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on it. That sounds great. And happening.